More and more Israelis and Jews are now applying for European citizenship through their Sephardic origins in order to have a plan B if necessary. Sephardic Jews and their descendants are entitled to obtain Portuguese passports that allow them to live, study and travel all over the European Union. Well, the Spanish law firm Goy Gentile has processed more than 2,000 applications by Sephardic origin, helping thousands of families to obtain the fifth most powerful passport in the world. And Harvard Law graduate Lucia Goy Mastro Michele accompanies us today to explain how, if you are a Sephardic Jew or a descendant of a Sephardic Jew, you have the right to obtain this European passport. Lucia, thank you so much for being with us. Now, what are the reasons that Sephardic Jews can obtain the Portuguese passport? First, thank you much for, so much for having me. Well, the reason is a simple reason. It's a reparation uh, to the, the damage done to the Sephardic communities when the first the Inquisition and the Catholic uh, kings were exp uh, kicked them out, and then uh, King Manuel from Portugal kicked them out. So first, it's a historic reparation for the damage done. And second, it's a welcome back home because it's their home. A welcome back to first Spain and then Portugal. Well, welcome back home because this is your home. Uh, so, you know, why, why not Ashkenazi or Eastern European Jews, however? Unfortunately, um, Portugal is limited to Sephardi because it's where the, it's the Sephardis are from Sephardi, where they were kicked out. However, for Ashkenazis, there is another opportunity with an Austrian law that comes out in September that allows um, the Aust application and, uh, and sol uh, solicitude to the uh, Austrian passport if you prove that you were one of the uh, descendant of the, the Jewish communities expelled from the Austrian-Hungary Empire, which we have to think is a lot bigger than Austria. So this um, um, englobes a lot of more uh, people. All right. Well, now I understand that your firm has done more than 2,000 applications, which is amazing. You know, why do you think so many people are interested in the European passport? Well, um, a European passport is a great opportunity and a, a, for too many things. First, it allows you to uh, live, travel and work in 26 different European countries. Um, not only you, your spouse and your children. Additionally, it allows you to travel to 185 countries without visa. It's the most, it's the Portuguese passport, it's the fifth most valuable passport in the world. And obviously also in the, the, the access to the, so, the social securities of Portugal. And I think most importantly, which unfortunately the Jewish communities know well, it's a plan B. It's a, it's a scapegoat if something goes wrong. It's an, it, it's, it's a facilitation if something that unfortunately goes wrong and you need to 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 escape uh, uh, and then also we with many communities and it's also a facility even to open bank accounts to travel it's just um, an array of different advantages that a, a European passport can give you all right now now we mentioned Portugal a lot but very little about Spain does Spain still allow Sephardic Jews to get their Spanish passport by Sephardic origin Unfortunately, the Spanish law expired. Um, if you started the application before October 1st, you are allowed to complete the application up to October 1st of 2021. However, um, if you did not start that application, you are not enabled to start uh, now. But the Portuguese process is easier for people who do not speak uh, uh, Portuguese or Spanish because Portuguese the Portuguese uh, process does not require any type of exam, language, or cultural exam. Wow. So it is it's actually easier in that sense. Wow. All right. So so what is the process to get this European passport, and how do you help, uh, you know, in that process? Well, uh, the process is pretty simple, and at Goit Gentile we have a great experience. Uh, if you are a Jewish, it's it's a, a simple, a more fast process. You just need to send us your family tree and a certificate of a rabbi proving you're, you are a Sephardi, a Jewish, um, and we take care of the rest. Uh, the first step is the community, the application to the Jewish community, and then to the ministry. Uh, if you're an Usim or crypto Jew, so a descendant of, of the Sephardi a Jewish a community, but you are not practicing Jew right now, so an Usim, which is very common in Latin America, uh, you need to send us your family tree and with our uh, solid network of more than uh, uh, 60 historians around 50 countries, we do a study and analyze that family tree in order to determine Sephardic origin. We do a historic report 
which enable us enables us, us to um, obtain this the CFRD a certificate um, and then we apply to the ministry also all right well and, and I'm sure obviously while you can go through this process on your own your expertise and your law firms you know knowledge of, of everything on the ground is probably a big help Lucia thank you so much for joining us and showing us this you know opportunity thank you thank you so much for your time and interest